All right, Juventus put, had actually put pressure on uh, on Inter because they'd played earlier in the day and they had walloped Cagliari 4-0. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo gets a hat-trick. He's first. It's the iPod shuffle. <laughs> yes. Uh, was it about... The main question, obviously he was criticized, people were wondering about him earlier. Mina, is this just a case of Cristiano being fitter now? And whereas before he was despite what Dr. Paciencia said, he actually was unfit before or in carrying an injury? Or is it just a case that Juve maybe have, have a better context around him now? Uh, Juve are playing better, getting him better service. Is it Cristiano or is it the team? It's Cristiano, isn't it? I, I think so. I have to say it. it is because I'm not... what Like when you look at the problems, the first one is he saw a potential problem, you know, two defenders passing it in the box and jumped on that. Second one is a penalty. You're saying it's the fool passing the ball across the box. I mean, the other honest. one is a penalty. Let's be honest. No experience. The third one, he's wide open. Yeah, I mean, and and, and I, do think, I do think the best player for him is Douglas Costa. And you could see that as soon as he comes on. It's all so lightning and, and wonderful to watch. For me, Douglas Costa makes Juventus interesting to watch. Yeah. And and he I think that his little slalom didn't do it for you. No, and, and Higuain was tremendous too. They're obviously all perfect, but with Douglas Costa, you feel like there's just this a little bit more energy, a little bit more fast paced. But either way, when you look at the first two goals of Ronaldo, it is kind of mistakes from the opponent. You know, um, it is a it is a penalty, and it's that the first terrible mistake. Everyone talks about Juventus. I thought they were quietened in the first half. You saw them relegated to doing wonderful passes but not really creating the kind of danger that would have scared Cagliari. It's the second half in which, after that goal, that mistake, Cagliari just completely fell apart, and it was all Juve. Am I going to turn around and be like, oh, it's their best performance, as so many people have noted? No, I don't think so, because you have to realise the level of the opponent. And when a team crumbles like that after one mistake, then Juventus have to be Juventus. I mean, yeah, I mean... On the goal, um, absolutely. I, it's sort of tragic because it's a 34-year-old defender, Clavan, who plays the ball across to a 19-year-old whose name I'm not going to try to pronounce on air, um, <laughs> to a 19-year-old really really who's making his debut against Cristiano Ronaldo, and you think, you know, kid didn't have a chance on that ball. Um, I I don't um, disagree with you in, in the big picture sense, um, Mina. I don't think that this was a performance that I'm going to be thinking about in a month's time as, oh, Juventus were, were miraculous. I do think that Ronaldo, to me, looks qualitatively different. And I think that Happier. I have to read something into the injury on that. You know, we, we were told a lot about this injury, and now you've got coaches oh, no, telling us that he's that. not carrying it. I just think even that even that first goal, um, yes, it comes from a mistake, but I think the sharpness with which he goes after that ball... I don't think we've seen that all season. But I, I think really that don't. was my point. It's not that the team are playing better, it's that he's better. Yeah. And that now he spots mistakes and, and punishes them in a way that he perhaps wasn't before and feeling a little bit like run down, whereas now you can really see Ronaldo. Stuart talked about it on, on this show before as, you know, the only one amongst us of the crew who's actually gonna been an elite level athlete. Um that little Hey, I was that good little, at badminton. <laughs> <laughs> that little niggle, that little um something doesn't have to be big to just take you it just uh, make you just a fraction slower in, in trusting yourself, in, in making the step, in, in going after those balls. And I think that um, that's what it looks like to me. Of course, I'm not in the, tra in the training room. I don't know, but that's what it looked like to me. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.